in your surgery short case examination. Sometimes examiner will give you a patient with ICQ but ask you to examine. It can be a right-sided ICQ, it can be a left-sided ICQ. When we are usually examine a patient, we are going to approach to patient from right side. But if it is a left-sided ICQ, first of all you have to go from left side and check ICQ and bottle first. Then you have to come from right side and do the rest of examination. So number one, first thing you have to look for the drain and ICQ. Number one, drain and drain bottle and ICQ. What other thing you are going to look? Color of drain fluid. Color. Whether it is straw color or reddish color. Then volume. And site. Where it inserted. Whether it is inserted from safe triangle or not. So those are the things you should comment when you are coming into drain and ICQ. Then you have to look for that whether it is functioning or not, whether your ICQ functioning or not. For that, you have to carefully look for this fluid color. When your patient is inspirating and expirating, it will create negative pressure in the pleural cavity. With that, this fluid column move up and down. Check this whether this fluid column move up and down. Swinging of fluid column number two, swinging. If it is not swinging with respiration, ask your patient to cough. <coughs> Check with that whether it is moving or not. Swinging with respiration or cough. Number three. Then carefully palpate the site of IC tube for crepitus. Carefully palpate for the IC tube site crepitus. Crepitus in IC tube site. Finally, number four, finally, you have to auscultate and check whether the lung has re-expand or not. Auscultate and auscultate and check whether the lung re-expand or not. So, what are the things you are going to do? Look for the IC tube and drain. Comment about the color, volume, and site. And check for the swigging, that means whether it is functioning or not. Then, crepitus in the IC tube site. Finally, auscultate and check whether the lung has to re expand or not. After that, you have to present your case. So, how I will present it? At the end of your examination, you have to present your examination finding to your examiner for what in order to get through your surgery short case exam this is not that much difficult when compared to other surgical short cases we'll see this patient is having an ic tube inserted to the left side of the chest and it is functioning the drain contains 150 ml of blood stain fluid there is subcutaneous emphysema breath sounds are reduced over the left lower zone. That is how you are going to present. It is very simple. Finally, your examiner will ready with another set of questions. Are you ready to answer those questions? Yes. We will see those questions. What are the indications to insert IC tube? What are the indications? If there is a hemothorax for the drain of hemothorax? Yes. Hemothorax. Large pneumothorax? Yes. Pneumothorax. Large pleural effusion? Yes, you have to insert. Large pleural effusion? Multiple rib fractures with flyer chest when you are going to ventilate your patient? Yes, you have to insert. Flyer chest with multiple rib fractures. Sometimes Prophylactically, in trauma patient, before transfer your patient into tertiary center, you have to insert IC tube prophylactically. 
ओके हीमोथोरैक्स न्यूमोथोरैक्स लोअर रेफ्यूशन प्राइजेस एंड प्रोब्लेम्टिकली दो साल इंडिकेशन को आईसीटीओ नंबर टू व्हाट आर द कंट्राइंडिकेशन टू इंसर्ट आईसीटीओ इस दे आनी कंट्राइंडिकेशंस यस दे आर आर कंट्राइंडिकेशंस इंफेक्शन एट द साइट ऑफ इंसर्शन इंफेक्शन एट द साइट ऑफ इंसर्शन एंड अदर वन इज सीवियर एंड अनकंट्रोल्ड ब्लीडिंग डायसिस ब्लीडिंग प्रॉब्लम्स ब्लीडिंग डिसऑर्डर those are the two contraindications to insert ICTU. Third question, what is the site of insertion? We are going to insert that ICTU. That is to save triangle. That is to save triangle. Anterior cellulite, mid cellulite, and upper border of fifth ribs. This, this is the area you are going to insert ICTU. Anterior axillary line mid axillary line and upper border of fifth rib this is the site this area look like triangle that triangle is called safe triangle next question what are the reason for not swinging i told you if it is functioning this tube functioning this fluid column must be swinging then what are the reasons for non-swinging? It may be due to blood clot obstruction. Blood clot. It may be due to blood clot. Or it may be due to long tube and tube kinking. Kinking of tube. Tube bend from here. Kinking of tube. Kinking. What are the other reasons? Blood clot and kinking. Is there any other reasons? Comment below. Next question, when a tracheostomy indicate, sometime once you insert ICTO, you have to think about thoracotomy, tracheostomy, not tracheostomy, you have to think about thoracotomy, why is that? If there is more than 1000 blood, 1000 ml blood, suddenly come through that ICTO, that is an indication for thoracotomy. More than 1500 ml blood in first hour. Blood in first hour. Again, you have to think about thoracotomy. That is an indication. Third one. More than 200 ml per hour for four consecutive hours. Consecutive hours. That means all to be the 800. It also an indication for thoracotomy. Those are the indication for thoracotomy. We see more than 1000 blood suddenly come. More than 1500 blood in first hour. More than 200 ml per hour for four consecutive hours. Those are the indications for thoracotomy. If your patient have these features, you have to go for thoracotomy. Last question. When to remove ICTU? When to remove ICTU? So, if you are inserted ICTU because of pneumothorax, you have to wait until bubbling is stopped. Even with cough. Stop bubbling. Even with cough then you can remove it. If you insert because of neural epilation, hemothorax, or sometimes the hydrothorax, fluid, you have to wait if, until if it is it's less than 20 ml per 24 hour. Then you can remove it. If it is less than this one, you can remove it. If it is less than 20, you can remove it. Again, that is Depend and you have to do chest x ray and check for the lung expansion. If it is not expand, don't remove it. So, before removing ICTO, you, you have to look for these things. If you are inserted just because of pneumothorax, wait until 
bubbling stop even with cough. If you insert it because of hemothorax, weight until it become less than 20 ml per 24 hours and then remove it. Before removing any of the cases, you have to do chest x-ray and look for the re-expansion of your lung. That is how you are going to present, you are going to manage your ICU short case. Thank you very much.